How are we doing? Amazing. Just share from my local and your neighbor how you're feeling. Thank you. 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 Thank when you are And because I pray so hard for my name, I have to say it again. My name is Maxi Daniel. The brand is uh, Maxi Daniel on the pen. I love money. I love people. And as Moon is clearly said, most of us poetry saved us, you know? For those of us who, you know, you know. Yes. Poetry, poetry came through for us. Whether you, you are a poet or you once had an inspiration, Mahali. Anyway, the essence for this event today is one to celebrate, of course, World Poetry Day. And because I'm a poet myself, it is always an honor to host such. But secondly, also to honor the poets or the artists that came, that went before us, eh, came before us, that went um, bef uh, before us. Is that the right English? Yes. yes. Ahead of us. Yes. That went ahead. <laughs> but yes, so basically that is also why we're here. The thing for this year is how do I love thee? Or Kuala and Yom Somangi King James Version, how do I love you? You is plural. So how do I love you? Yeah? And uh, when I first encountered this topic, and I was talking to a few friends and they were asking, Hey, me and in love. Um, it wasn't about that. It's about how we use poetry to love on one another. Right? It's how we use art to love on one another. It's how we use the various things that we use. If Pali knows that I love food, him giving me food is love, right? I mean, you see love. It is love. See you. We started at the mango tree, that is at the Anios Conse, and we started with an audience of six people. And the six people who came for that event were all artists. And uh, they were not just artists, but they were artists whom we were sharing with the platform at the Anios Conse. So basically, um, uh, members of Lesser Arts. So when we were doing the event up with Gloria, we one hour poetry show. So that is how we started with the audience of six. And it came to go to a level where poetic hour used to attract an audience of up to 500 people on a weekly basis at the Goan Institute. <laughs> Now I'm on a good eyesight, like a boy almost a funny me go blind. When I do your story, I can go to the actual long time. Because you want to not just in flowers, but snaps of flowers. See the See the movie, Oksema? Sometimes you get better job in your, the work you speak for itself. Yeah? So this is not the same over there. For today, what's good today? Snap some more. And so the, when I had her piece, it was the one you put in a room on your time. I will wait for you. I don't know how many of you guys have had her on that space. Amazing. It's great content. So every single time someone impresses me, I usually want to know more about her. So I went and read about her and I went to stalk her more. And then I stumbled upon this piece. It's called The Truth, Truth Without Photoshop. 
and truth without Photoshop was the first time I was actually hearing someone capture every single feeling I was going through for having been sexually violated without blaming me, the survivor, like I was the problem. And that was such a turnaround for me because it wasn't just the fact that she was doing poetry, it was the fact that she had Jesus in her poetry. And for those of you who have the uh, privilege of knowing me personally, I am born again. I love Jesus. I am seeing Jesus always. So it was so interesting because every single time again the chat speaks about issues like sexual violations, it's usually with a lot of condemnation and like you're going to hell and like why did you save your virginity for your husband? Like you even want a husband, but who cares? <laughs> Sorry for another day. But that is all I had ever had growing up. I knew in my heart I wanted to do poetry not just for me. The conviction was so strong. If there was a lady who just sat somewhere and she just put words together and she was like, ah, let me just release it. And that word was a turnaround for me. It literally, literally <coughs> saved my life. It literally called me towards going to therapy, called me towards starting to have positive behaviors and actions towards myself, called me towards self-love. That's one piece. It called me back even to salvation in itself. And I was like, every single time someone listens to me, what I want them to hear is light and life. And if you're keen, every single time I introduce myself, especially in my bio, Tabaza, spoken about this from Isumu, spreads life and light through her poetry. And I have let my work speak for me. It is a plan. Yes. There's nothing that happens by accident. Asha dem kupata bond was the accident. So everything has a process. And JB, for JB to be where it is, it is also a process. Yes. Now we want to say that everything has to go through a process for it to be perfect. Yeah. What you gonna pick a shortcuts? They never last. Yes. Shortcuts never last. Just do what you're doing. So always love the process before the end results. And that is what we do at JB. We follow a process for everything that we do. Lazima kuna process inafwa, inafwa to so that you get the best products or the best food. Akuna si kutai nziwa omena apa u complain tumbo ili kuma. Au chakula matumbo apa u seme tumbo ili kuma. Because it has a process that it does what? It follows. Tukona chakula. Ime pikwa, tukiangalia all the health factors. We do catering. It's come easy, nafanya, nafanya outside catering, tunapenda entertainment, hata sisi venyewe, ama na entertainer, ni venyamku, ni batia tu yo chance. Yo, it's a chance. Yo, it's a chance. Yo, it's a chance. Yo, it's a chance. Yo. Nona venye mmeshao? Yo. Nona venye mmepika kete? Yo. Nisha wa entertainer. Yo. So, this is JB Victory. JB is buried. James and Berita. So, he's the J, I'm the P. Oh, okay. Okay. That is a sign. So, he's the J, I'm the P. And now we celebrate the victory of God in our life. So, this is a victory. So it is the God in our life that brought up. This was an answered prayer. JB is a victory, an answered prayer. 
na ndio kusabu kumika nilisho. Na hakuna pressure. Mwana kama tukuna pressure? Hatuna pressure. Jibia hii kuwansia hama. Nyantee kwa kakibanda kaduu. A very small kibanda. But now that we always ask God, we want to grow. Now we are growing. And I know when we leave this place, we are going even to grow bigger. There's a song that is saying that we are growing bigger every day. Bigger every day. Shall I scare your feet? Yes. We are growing bigger every day. Bigger. Yeah. JB is growing bigger every day. Yeah. So, na shukuru kwa kukuja queen. Wenye wamekunyo chai, mesikia venye hiko. Wenye wamekula samaku, wenye wamekula madondo. Tuna wakaribisha kamisa, kamisa, kamisa. Karibuni tena, and it's my prayer. That God will lead all of you to the levels that you want to be. So feel free to always come here and buy from these amazing folks. How I said to you, could you have January to come here? I would like you to host us for World Poetry Day in March. And they've been, you know, uh, we've been talking and they've been telling us, Sisi, you're going to host. Now you're going to host. Yes. 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 Yes.